And it's tempted. We'll give you twenty, thirty thousand dollar loan. Miss Smith, I, I can I tell you not. Then when I tell you the people in the Bahama was traveling, uh -huh. Vegas. What? Du they was uh -huh. traveling Dubai. They was we had a whole trip. Listen to me, Miss Smith. And every you no know, people came to me like, Miss Parker, you ain't traveling. I said I used to travel and I ain't why but y'all y'all go, y'all go. Why Thank don't you I don't need no loan? Thank you. When I need the bank, I go to the bank. If I don't need yeah. the bank, I'm not going. I use, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Some yeah. people, Hamid, is so much of them right now. Them yeah. old, they ain't get no water. They ain't get no food. They in debt. Yeah, agreed. They in debt. Agreed. Before they yeah. say money, they're squandering, gambling money. That's why yeah. I don't feel sorry for Hamid's out here right now through this pandemic. I don't feel sorry for you. Because a lot of them too, a lot of a lot of persons, like you say, they don't do anything that is tangible. No. They just a vacation, a, a car, uh, yes. uh, buy clothes. That's they what, uh, just don't. And guess what? You can't blame because guess what? That's what they go underneath. Because they mummy or the Grammy or whatever teach them that when they get for us, they go away. No, but you could change that. No, yes, you so could change you that. Can. I grow, I grow up. Never yes. I grow up. Yes, you can. You could. You could change because you have a strong mind. A lot of, a lot of people do have a strong mind. You have to want. You you have to want better for you. The loans are one. Think like that, Miss Smith. But the credit cards is another too, because a lot of persons get credit oh, cards. Oh yeah. Shopping. Oh, I wouldn't even go to. Yeah. All the ass is dead. <laughs> and guess no, what? but not only that. A lot of people think that because um, I, I don't know why. I don't know why the government needs to stop telling people American and Bahamian money is one on one. It is not. No, they said it. Yeah. It is not because if you go to the states oh. and you swipe your yeah. card for ten dollars, yeah. right? That ten dollars is. 12% whatever you charge whatever yeah. they charge on you with that yeah. then you gotta they, the bank is charging you to convert that money in yeah. the time you spend that 10 dollars 10 dollars a lot of people do not realize that when you swipe oh, it in the ATM don't go to Walmart swipe your card for the ATM that's the next, that's the next story yes, the next. all of that is in conversion that. charges and then, some of that is yeah. most of that is service charge. Is. Service charge, yeah. Yes. And a service yeah. charge is very expensive. All of it is the service charge. You can think about if you use your first Caribbean card to RBC here. Yeah. That's here. Three dollars. So imagine if you use your Bahamian card and Right. A, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of people do not look at that. Why I know where every quarter? <laughs> yeah, because where, you look at that. Every quarter. People do not look at that. They look at them by step. I just watch that daily like that's a baby. And guess what? You know, you, you'll be surprised. You ever, you ever have your online bank. You know, so you know your... Especially for doing the math. <laughs> it ain't adding up. Bank, if you use your chart, if you swipe your card to stay, they only showing you what you swipe. When you reach home and you do your um, you get your um, end of the month payment. You see all the then you see all your charges. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They don't show that. They don't show that your online banking. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah. They don't show that your online banking. I feel like I was surprised when I was off the when I was when I was living in the states before I came back. Now so I was living in the states, and when I remember to send me money, I was like, "Hold oh, on, wait." When I tried to get, she says, "I ain't never doing." It. And that's how you have to understand that Bahamian money enough is not one on one, and they say, yeah. "Oh, it's what." It's and guess what? They don't just do it on the credit cards. They do it on the debit cards also. Everything All of the cards. The yeah. 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 One on one, 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 one when they come here. They, it's yeah. Credit cards on the debit cards. One on one when they spend their spending here. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah Americans is one on one with ours, but it's not vice versa. All righty. It's supposed to be. All right. Now, Mitt, who who's talking about the crisis, Miss Bain? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, you want to, anything else you want to inject in there? 
No, ma'am. Okay. That's what about you, um, Edrica? Oh, I'm Mr. Pruitt. No. I just was taken in. Okay. Okay. Who else? You, you, all of you say you read. Oh, Miss Smith. So sorry for the for the theme thing. That's about. I know something came about it. That's when I guess they like how they have a regulation board. That's mm -hmm. I guess why it came about. After that. Um, you're talking about like I say, if you read after, further down, like Miss. Um, right. Bar was saying had to have something to do with fraud. And if she read further down, she'd see it was embezzlement. It was right. also fraud that created those mm -hmm. new acts and, and mm -hmm. for them to change the way they do business. Right. So their Bank of England pretty much operated as our central bank would. Yes, yeah. mm -hmm. right. Their Bank of England, that's like how our central bank is, or like how in Cayman is um came in monetary um bank uh, yeah monetary authority yes zima yeah just like the is central bank the u.s yes all of that okay what about I saw the second crisis they were just using persuasive powers whatever that means Maybe and then they were then given mm -hmm. yeah but that that still was redundant to me because if I have all the free power, something like Trump to do whatever I want, you're trying to persuade me, which means you're just giving me advice to go another way and there's really no right. repercussions. Nine right. times out of 10, I'm still going to do it anyway because- Do it anyway, no like Trump. Repercussions. Like Trump. Trump say, I, I, he's backpedaling so much. I'm like, what in the world is this? When Corona first came out, he said, oh, be gone by Easter. We'll be able to go to church. Now he's backpedaling saying, yes, it's a dangerous disease and- Mm -hmm. Just didn't want to create panic and all the rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right now he's so busy talking about an election rigged. Yeah, and how Biden. It. Yeah, that's a whole nother cattle of fish. Mm. Anybody want to talk about the Lloyd's Bank? So the Lloyd's Lloyd Bank. Mm -hmm. Hold on. That's the Scotland. That's Bank. the Scotland Bank. Lloyd's. Lloyd's TS Bank PLC. It is it's a retail bank in the UK. That started. And they have small. over 16 million clients and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, they started small, they say, in Scotland and then just branched off. And now they're one of the larger ones, even in England. Yeah. Yeah. In the UK. They offer like five different banking services, like, you know. International banks. Because they kept merging with private, other banks. Private, right, yeah. Commercial, international. Mm -hmm. Right. A wide range for so, advantage in personal banking. Then we have the Royal Bank of Scotland. Oh, man, you all read. So I want you all to, I mean, even if you're looking in the book, you know. I think I was confusing the two. So the Royal Bank of Scotland is the one that merged with those banks, with the bank in England. Royal Bank of Scotland itself was founded in Edinburgh by Royal mm -hmm. Charter on the 31st. It opened at branch in, 19, in 1783. A large network of offices mm -hmm. throughout Scotland during the 19th century. It opened branches in London and from 1920, it developed by acquisition. Like you said, they acquire. What is acquisition? What, where do we see that happening in the Bahamas? Acquisition. Right. Where do we see, where have we seen that happen here in the Bahamas? Bahamas? No, no. Land? Um, Barclays oh. Bank, uh, not Barclays Bank. Um, was it First Caribbean? First Caribbean. Barclays first Caribbean, Barclays, 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 yes. Do you, mm. any, any of you know about Bank of Montreal? Mm -hmm. What is now mm. Bank of Montreal? What is taken over from Bank of Montreal? No. What is that? Is, is that Bank of Montreal reason? used to be a bank. bank? No. Bank no. of Montreal used to be a Bahamas? Yes. Bank of B -B. Bahamas. Yes, mm -hmm. B.O.B. Bank of Montreal used to be a little bank right on Bay Street. And then after a while, because B.O.B. just came around. Bank, bank of Montreal was there first. It was Bank of Montreal. Then B.O.B. came along. 
And just like with, with Fidelity, what was Fidelity first name? Oh. Right. And after that, what was the name again? I literally changed the name so much time I get confused. British American Bank. British American. American. But yeah, that's it. They changed the name. So and a lot of people get 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 on British American insurance confused with uh -huh. British American Bank. I was just about to say I didn't even know that Fidelity was British American Bank. Yes, it was. That's so much time they changed the name. <laughs> they like Can well, you go? well, well they, they had British American BAF. <laughs> well, know. remember too. Because you have different shareholders. So sometimes a shareholder want to opt out. So a new shareholders or new shareholders opt in. So a lot of times they just change your name. Now we are Fidelity. We are Fidelity. Fidelity I mean, one thing, Fidelity have a good banking system when it comes to um, real estate. Like you want to get a home and anything, their rates and everything, their credit cards are very good. But I scared of their bank because they always change their name, like to something. Oh, <laughs> I this to me as a young person. I there's a mind me a click out. Like I scared. That it. is I, not so. Now no, I went. To, you now I went to know. Fidelity. I, we all no, went to Fidelity by no, 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 no. As a matter of fact, if they were like Clico, all of these other banks wouldn't have been competing to try and That's merge the with them on a lot of this. Right. Listen to me. Um, don't, don't, don't know me. Don't know me. Yeah, a lot of services yeah. they're offering yeah. where banks are trying to merge with them. Credit unions are trying right. to have services we're with them. We're a good bank. Come on. Hey, they're very stable. Very stable. Very, very stable. stable. Very what stable. What I'm saying. I'm not even there. I just Ms. know their Bob business. Ms. Smith, don't. Miss Bob, Miss Smith, do not knock me yet. What I'm, what I'm saying is that I have no problem with Fidelity. I just scared because they always changing. Like for me as a young girl, and they keep on changing. And I'm not telling. But I scared. just told you why. A lot of I times just, you have I, shareholders you. that I opt just, out, and then you have more shareholders who want to opt in because you look at our balance sheet and our income statement and our. Any time, no, listen, good. listen yes. also to the big chief talk, Mr. Gowan Bo, when he talked oh. about and he put everything out there with mm -hmm. what's going on, how much millions we've made, how our loan performing loans. I'm not going to lie, Fidelity Bank is very good. I'm going to open a mutual fund with them shortly. Listen now, to guess me. what? Now, that, that's not a part of us anymore. Oh. No. The mutual oh, fund part is now with um RB, with RBC Fingo. That's Royal Fidelity. No, that's just oh, Royal I Fidelity. Don't, oh, 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 I only have a Royal Bank. Don't have any more shares in in that. It's just no. Royal Fidelity. No, it's just oh. Royal Fidelity. That's yeah. They move that. They move that. Okay. They change the name. They change the name. That's RF now. Yes, that's RF. Royal Fidelity Bank and Trust. They're Royal Fidelity Bank and Trust. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah they changed that. Yeah. 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 All righty. Somebody talk I'm, about. I'm not gonna get, I love Finko. I have a mom. Two of my brothers is David Fidelity Bank. And they always tell me, oh, save your money. But, but my daughter, they say, oh, put your, your daughter's savings. Instead of putting it, well, with RBC, put it to, um, to Fink or whatever. I'd be like, I have no problem with Fidelity. I understand, y'all, but I just scared of Fidelity because and I might switch around. I hear a couple of years that Fidelity changed to so-and-so this. And I don't want my money to disappear because, Miss Smith, you know, the name change has nothing to do with your vested interest. Nope. Nothing. My mind you is were going here like my last mind week. Is going See, that's what I'm talking about. My mind, my mind going on, on that situation. I'm a single. What do you mean again? My mind going on them. So nobody they remember are not too now. Comparable to Clico, though. Nobody yeah, remember Finko. too now. Finco is owned by RBC. Seventy-five percent of Finco is owned by RBC. Twenty-five yes, percent of Finco is owned baby. by clients. Okay. Well, I don't want to say I have mm. my granddaddy. You know, old people they only use deed with either RBC or Fidelity. Um, Fidelity, whatever Fidelity was back then. That's First all they know. Right. So, so my granddaddy had all our savings in RBC. 
And when I had my daughter, he have everything. He oh. have savings. He's over my account for her. And I just, tra- I just transfer. Now I just bank with Carmel and First Caribbean. First, First Caribbean, I would, I would not get a loan. Need a house mortgage for First Caribbean because they do high. Their, yeah. their mortgage, they're very high. No, no, they're competitive. Not right now because they're, they're trying to compete. So not Everybody. right now. This is a buyer's market right now. Yeah, right, everything because, went down now, but I'm talking about before all the situation. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, but now all the banks are competing. So you exactly. I have not seen them had any campaign out recently. But you can call any banks in Scotia Bank and. Uh, no, I don't deal with Scotia. I'm Scotia teeth my money. I have never deal with Scotia. <laughs> Miss Smith, you sound like me with um RBC. Miss, boy. Me. Miss Smith, listen to me. I always gone to J A I L for Scotia Bank on Oaksville. I went. I was off to school. Scotia Bank. The Scotia Bank takes six hundred dollars off my savings account, and I am never. I did not swipe that card. When I came back here, I said, I asked my daddy. I said, Daddy, why my card is mine? You know, six hundred dollars. But I had money on it was a negative. I said, like, why does six hundred dollars on my card? He said, like, I said, you better. When I read Oaksfield, uh-huh. they was teething that Scotia Bank doesn't need first star teething them penny. <laughs> and one sec. Well, don't feel bad. RBC did that to me. I was at work and they had my card swiped in Plantation, Florida. Oh. While I was at work, and I had to go on. and that take my work slip, you know. a letter from my boss to confirm I was in Andros on a private island working. No, but okay. that happened, this guy you know. was so called swiping plantation. My car was getting swiping NASA. Miss Bob. I had, I had, but guess what? I had that had happened. Had, someone got fired yeah. now. It was fraud. It was Whoa. Yeah, some stealing going on. No, but I remember now. Had, so, had, we had, have a lot of that. that happening because I could tell you, even with me having a fidelity card, I remember I was sitting at my desk and I, because they have their alert. And I heard ping, ping. I was like, well, who using my card? Because I said to my desk, oh. when I looked, my card was being used uh, in Europe. And you know how long, when you have a debit card, that's what I tell you, if you're going to purchase stuff, put your money on your credit card because if something happens, Visa going to give you back your money right away off your credit card. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you have the money on your debit card and you're using your debit card, it takes up to, to 60 days before you could get your money back. So I had like almost $1,200 somebody swipe on my card and I could not get my money. I got my money back must be three months later after they did all the investments. Well, my fidelity card wasn't that bad and it wasn't the bank. My card was just compromised. So I had yes, to just Yes, but that's I say the same thing with me. My card was compromised. With RBC, no. it was an employee that was stealing. Woo. When yeah, I, that, that's the problem I have. That's the problem I have with Scotia Bank. I got my money back and everything, and that person was fired. I don't know if, yes, if it's But how, how is it that they're able to do that? I don't know, but they determined when they, because I wouldn't let it up. I, I was relentless, because this was back in the early 2000s. This wasn't like now. Uh-huh. Yes. With this That's online I banking, was- none of, I wasn't doing any of online banking or anything. I literally had to travel somewhere and swipe my card. Yes, that's okay. how it was. It, it wasn't, wasn't like, a, it, wasn't a, it wasn't an online bike back then. Right. I wasn't doing any online activity with any I wasn't even purchasing tickets online, then I would go to the exactly. travel agent and purchase my ticket. There was like, this is the early 2000s. They discovered it was an employee that, that you know. Yeah. Really there was even money. Oaksville branch, I will never forget that day. <laughs> Oaksville branch on April 17th. Man. I will never forget that day. When I got it, I say, Daddy. This was back okay. in like 2003, 2004. Yes, yes. You, you tell the truth. You tell the truth. Because I graduated in 2008. And I, I came over here for some. I said, Daddy, I'm going to find. I'm not swiping my card. And I said, and let me. I said, listen, I said, I told my dad, I said, I was schooling in the States. I was schooling a lot. I said, Daddy, don't transfer. I said, my son, don't transfer money no more to my 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 Scotia card. Because only Scotia card back then you could use in the States. Mm-hmm. I said, Daddy, do not transfer the money to my card. Transfer money to my cousin card. And whenever you transfer, I will withdraw from her card to um, American Express and I'll get it from there. And I said, why does God keep on transferring, taking, taking? And when I came back and I saw that somehow I dealt with it, I told you I almost gone to jail. They, to go, they called the police for me. Yeah, but like someone say, had to give me my money back. Like I say with anything, um, 
look at the mm -hmm. incident at B.O.B. when they said the guy who was in IT was taking money off the pensioners account. And so uh -huh. he went to jail. So uh -huh. like I, I said, with anything, yeah. that's why I say with anything, not, yeah, if there's banks have to put, find it. right, banks have to put new policies and procedures in place yeah. to mitigate the things that could happen, that happen. So they have to mitigate some stuff. And so that's why we have policies and procedures being changed mm -hmm. every day. And like I said, I mentioned before with and the dormant, with with the dormant cards, persons, as long as they know, well, hey, so-and-so don't yeah. come in the bank. Even with those policies and procedures, it's almost difficult, almost impossible to anticipate what a criminal agreed, could do. Agreed, agreed. And that's the reason why they have internal audit that is supposed to be and persons in the branches that are supposed to be doing spot checks on certain things. Like even with the dormant account, mm -hmm. every so often they're supposed to spot check and ensure that everything is restricted. Because like I said, when, when a, an account falls dormant today, that card should be pulled out active and placed in the dormant restrictive um, signature card file. The file should be placed in the dormant um, draw so only person have access to that the supervisor and another custodian who would go into that drawer other than that and like I said because of certain things happening and because a lot of people just learning how to do fraud learning how to manipulate the system they have to put a, every time that's why we have compliance now that's why you see that mm -hmm. if somebody wants to send funds away want to do wire transfer certain things has to go to compliance before ACH if you mm -hmm. want to send money to ACH or RTG, everything have to go to compliance to ensure that everything is in order. And, and that's what happened now. That's why we have so much things in place, compliance, internal audit. Everything is there now. Before, we didn't have all of this because the, I guess a lot of persons, and a lot of persons go on jobs just to say, let's see how we can manipulate the system. People do it, yeah. So that's why you have to have policies and procedures and controls in place monthly, weekly, quarterly, semi-annually, yearly controls in place. And that's why you see auditors come, internal auditors, external auditors go into different companies. It has to happen. I right, do want to talk about, like I said again, Royal Bank of Scotland. In 19... In 1874, it opened a branch office in London, and from the 1920s, it developed acquisitions. Like I said, we talk about the acquisitions. Where what what um, companies? What what about insurance company? Didn't some insurance company acquire other companies? Any you could think about? Um, we had Crown Life. <laughs> Who, who purchased Crown Life? Who now has Crown Life? Oh, we had insurance. Oh. No. Kalina. Kalina now purchased um, Crown. Crown used to be under by itself, and then Kalina got Crown. Okay, so acquisitions is a lot going on. Like we say, First Caribbean, Barclays Bank was around, and First Caribbean purchased it and a lot of people made redundant because you know Barclays was I always used to thought Barclays as a slow bank I never, I never understood Barclays but first Caribbean purchased them and like I said Bank of Montreal BOB we have Royal Bank who owns 75% of Finco the other 25% is to Bahamian person shareholders and I know at one point, Royal Bank was supposed to be selling their 75% to a company, but they are tight lip on who it's being sold to, but they're mm -hmm. selling their 75% to another bank or, another, or a company. I'm not sure who, because they're tight lip on it. Yeah. You don't hear so much about Finko anymore in any event. Right. It's all about Royal Finko. That's what it says now. Because if you go in Royal Bank, Finko is in Royal Bank now. They have mm -hmm. one, um, one operation. It's just that when you go into a Royal Bank, they ask you if you're doing Finko or Royal. So they mm -hmm. have tellers. They do both, Finko and Royal transactions. Yeah. Right. But they no longer, any, any 
time you see a sea wild simple. Yeah. Yeah. And you'd see a lot of their branches as merge. It's not like how it used to be. You, you don't see any Finco branches. Uh, all of them are in Royal Bank. They're no longer branches where you just see it's Finco. You go in, it's, it's Royal and Finco sharing a shared location. Yeah, well, that's what's happening there. Um, Edrico, you want to yes. talk about um, the second, the third paragraph where it talks about the first UK insurance firm to use telephone as its main channel of communication? So it started with 63 people, 63 employees, sorry. Mm -hmm. And now it has 10,000 employees. And they were also acquired by another company, another private bank yeah. mm -hmm. of Adam and Company. Mm -hmm. And what else? In 2000, go ahead. It launched direct banking um, in 94, which quickly became Britain's fastest growing 24 hour telephone banking operation. Any of you in aware of, any of you know of a bank that had telephone banking? That had or has? I don't think they have it anymore. They had it. Would you believe Finco was telephone banking? You can call and do transactions really? for the ATM. Yep. That's how we used to do transfers. Telephone, you call telephone banking. That's what Finco had. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, pardon me? I was saying mobile banking. <laughs> but Finco had that, that you'd have to call and put in your pin and get all your information on what on your account and stuff like that. Telephone banking. Finco had that years ago. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead, Miss Barr. No, I was going to say, strange enough, we still do it at my credit union. They still do telephone you, you banking. You still do it? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Like um, you can call and have funds transferred. Well, there's a form on file, call it indemnity form that has to yep. be signed first yep. and foremost. Yep. That mm -hmm. allows you to send instructions via email, telephone, uh, fax. It would have to be your email on file. If you call on the telephone, you'd have to clear up a series of security questions. And then you also have to send your signature. But we still no, do but it. When I, say, when I say telephone banking, I mean like how we have the online banking. That's how it was with... Finco, you can mm -hmm. call and get all your balances, push with state, whatever account you want, they give you whatever happened, a debit, a credit. That's how it was. Unlike, it's the same. what you yeah, say? still do it. Okay. All righty. You can call the operator, get your balances. You can let them know if you want money on your debit card. You can let them know if you want money transferred to another account you have on another bank. No, you know, when I say that, this was something you did. Just like online mm. banking, you didn't have to speak to any representative. Oh, it comes up you and mean it like tells you. Automated you, thing. Right. It was yeah, automated. No, it tells you whatever that. you wanted to do. I want to transfer money from this account to the next. You were able to do it by phone. Yeah, yeah. no, we didn't have that. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Adrika. <laughs> On the far. Hello. Mm. Anybody remember NatWest? NatWest Bank. I've mean, never I even heard of that. You don't know about NatWest? What was Roy West out? out um, no. I Roy West. Yeah. yeah. That was a bank, our bank here, NatWest Bank, in it, it, where the Prime Minister office is now. It used to be located. I'm trying to remember what the last name was before. They actually sold, but not West, Roy West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. They were some of our banks. Or I've heard banks. Of <laughs> well, oh, you oh, go sure ahead and, and you look it up. So when y'all come back next week, y'all can tell me about it. Not West, Roy West. Not West, Roy West. That's okay. You say not West? West? See it right in there. Not West. It's, uh, after the merger of Royal That's Bank and not West. West Minister? Oh, mm -mm. I see something in it that said National West. This Minnesota. one said here, um, after the merger of Royal Bank 
and not west. Right. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's it and not west. The business yeah, but I'm saying to you, go up and look up not west and Roy west and see what you get. They were located here. They just, I think, about three years ago. I'm trying to remember what the, when they closed, what the bank was named. I, I, I don't remember. But as you would see, they, they, they merged two groups, were combined, and the integrate there. I think a, a harder problem, too, is when, to, when a merger comes on IT. IT has to adapt to, I guess, whichever bank buy the other bank. Because, you know, with, with mergers, when business buy another business, what happens is, okay, um, I keep in my staff. Oh, how much staff you get there? Oh, no, you, you, they have to go home. I want my HR person. We can pay your HR person out. So just like with, with uh, um, last year, yeah, before last, BSI was purchased by EFG. You know, what is EFG and who is BSI? What type of bank are they? Trust banks, eh? Pardon me? BSI, they both offshore banks, but BSI has been around for a long time. And EFG is another bank that just came, it just came about not many years, but they, they, they're making their mark. They're both offshore banks, but EFG acquired BSI. And when they acquired BSI, a lot of persons were made redundant. Persons who... Um, <laughs> who didn't work out well. And even in, in EFG, they would send, even though they purchased BSI, they kept persons from BSI and send on persons who work with them because of work ethics. And like I say, at all times, your work ethic determine if a company is having a merger or being um, acquired by another bank or another company, mm -hmm. they're going to look at the persons who really work and persons who don't really work even though they think sometimes they're getting away with it, they, they the ones who get sent home a lot of times. So, what, you know? so was the bank of the Baroda one of those? Was was that under that? Pardon me. The bank of Baroda. Where's that? Which one? That in here? <laughs> Baroda. No, I use you as um just talking about the offshore banks and some of them did close yeah like i say i oh, know I the don't... bank was over was over here and i i believe they um closed too oh I the don't... bank of baroda yeah well a lot of them if you look in the papers sometimes you see a lot of them i heard liquidation. something about how liquidation. just abruptly Liqu pull out yeah liquidation liquidation and they they had an issue with hiring behemoths on staff. I, know I just had this conversation with someone aunt. last week. I remember that banquet was through the corner by um, where BAF is now. That had a lot of scandal or something. I can't remember what the bank name either. This is they off Bay Street, right? And they, yeah. And they yeah. abruptly left. And they right. had one behemoth girl working right. there. And um, <laughs> they refused to hire more behemoths higher anymore yeah. right but that's why our government need to put in place yeah our government need to put in place things and remember to Arachi or whatever his name is who had that bait to do over paradise island He's who lived around. over there that was his bank i don't think so but that was his bank i think that was his bank too yeah because it was, here was for a while. off bay street yeah that was his bank yeah Arachi the girl bank. was working yeah. there must be some mm -hmm. 15 odd years yeah, well, if they don't want to hire no more, like I say, you always have to say it's left to our government because if we, a lot of times we'd have persons come from other, from abroad, from probably the head office and they would come to the Bahamas and we still have to train them and, but still they take the job and we have to train them and we have to be the one to say, okay, this is what you do. That is what you do. But they get the pay, they get the perks. My children are paid for. They don't have to worry about their school fee. They don't have to worry about car. They don't have to worry about housing. But before they allow the Bahamian person to get those perks, they don't. Yeah, they do not.
That's true. Um, who, I, who I haven't heard? Hmm. Thompson? Miss Thompson? She isn't there? She isn't on? Miss um, Nixon? She isn't in either. I didn't hear her today. Um, Excuse me for a moment. I need to use Ms. the restroom. Miss Roberts? Okay, Miss. Okay. Um, do you want to comment on what we were talking about with on page? That's what I just was asking um, about the, the off, about the oh, offshore I, bank. Oh, I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. I just was. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you say you want me to comment? Yeah, like, like you can. Yeah, you can. Or you can read like where we were, just to sift through it to see, you know, what you could talk about. We stopped on when I said after the merger, right? Yeah. When you start to talk about mm -hmm. what's not um, West. Not okay, West. Say, mm -hmm. Not in Northwest, the businesses of the two groups were combined and the enormous tasks of Erroneous. integrating their IT systems began. Northwest retail bank continues to operate as a just as a distant and separate brand on the heights on the high street april 2008 under controversial chief executive sir fred good good when the bank was forced to raise an extra 12 billion pounds mm -hmm. for a for for a rights issue the rights issue was announced as part of a trading update and was one of the largest seen in UK corporate his, his, his history. The firm also announced a write down of 5.9 billion pounds before tax following exposure to the credit markets royal what bank of scotland but what i what i want to ask you mm -hmm. this bank with um that that they are that they're talking about the two the two banks are they still around oh, Royal now? bank of scotland is is always still here like i say natwest i know natwest i don't know if they're back in natwest it said that royal bank and the not and the natwest Merge, merge, but am I maybe uh -huh. somewhere else? But like I say, Northwest used to be here, mm -hmm. but they're no longer here. World Bank of Scotland, I think. World Bank of Scotland, if I'm not mistaken, I think mm -hmm. they left because I remember them used to be in the financial center, and and they're not there anymore. And like I say, because of a lot of mergers, um. And a lot of banks pulled out from here because um, I used to work at an offshore bank and they closed and they just left. They, they just left. They closed. BNP Paribas, there was a French bank and they just closed and left, you know. So a lot of banks. Because yeah, as you see, if you go down on a text, they saying that they started to do business with the... Um, yeah, that's why know. it was... That's why I was asking if the bank's still actually here. No, I don't. Like I said, I, don't, I know Northwest is still not here. They moved. They, they gave everybody their severance package and they left. They're not here. Because like I said, they used to be in the building where the prime minister is now. That's where they was. But like I said, I know um, Royal Bank of Scotland was here. I, I, and I think they also closed. And they were losing yeah. a lot of funds too. So, yeah, and you have so to remember too. I guess created, they was giving out a lot of bad debt, and what created a problem why a lot of banks left. Remember, the Bahamas was blacklisted and all of that, and that doesn't set well with countries like like for us. Like I could tell you with BNP for Rebus, that was one of the reasons why they left because we were blacklisted, and they don't French people don't take well with that, and that's why they left. They left. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they still in Switzerland, they still have their banks over there, but you'll always see it. And you'll see BN, sponsored by BNP Paribas, mm -hmm. but they're not here anymore. I've seen yeah. the name. A lot I of see it now at the bottom, it's saying at the yeah. bottom of it, talking about how they got caught up in different schemes and different 
scandal to yeah. Dorrance. And Dorrance policy is... Yeah. For further losses and said the treasury was also injecting a future 13 billion pounds into the bank. Yeah, but a lot of... And, and a lot, another thing happened in 2008. What happened in 2008? Yes. In 2008? Mm -hmm. Worldwide. It was the crash of the stock market. A recession. Right. It was a recession, and you'd realize mm -hmm. that a lot of persons who didn't lose their homes, lose businesses, lose money, mm -hmm. the, 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 they call it the credit crunch. That's what happened. So um, you think was, because of the COVID that would possibly make it? Let me tell you. Hold on. For the With this COVID, mm -hmm. I we were already there. Look at us. The I don't think we're really much... seeing it as yet. You think First not? I not even agree. Felt... And it's in a yeah, uh, not in a sense, but guess what? Banks are feeling it because you know what it is for you to expect a certain amount of payment every month. And now you have to do an extension and you have to defer these person's payment. You're not performing loans. Uh, you know, once a loan at three months, it's not performing. And no, um, nobody depositing and it's much either. Right. And so non performing, one, once it hit the status of non performing, it's three months. So, hey, ain't no money. So, what happens when a loan becomes non performing is that the bank now is not getting, they, they stop. When, when money would go to actual interest, it no longer take interest from, from, from the person's money. No longer interest stops at that three months. So that's why it's now non-performing. Mm -hmm. And so the bank now have to make provisioning to say, okay, this loan, when are we getting this money back? So they make provisioning for the loan. So they say, okay, this loan is 50,000. So they set out in their book, hey, we got like five of these, we got to make provisioning. And that's why you see when they talk about when um, even the, the banks talk about um, their loan portfolio, you'll always see that on the central bank, they'll always talk about how the non-performing loans are the, it's really oh. high, 12 point oh. something million dollars of oh. non-performing loans, loans that are no money is coming in because what happened? There's nobody working. And like I said, I heard a story about a lady. So I have a business question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for for um persons who say they have a savings account with the bank, would it be, be best for them? They all would it be best for them to take it out? Why would you take your money out of the bank? Remember too, we talked last week that mm -hmm. every dollar you have in the bank, deposit insurance has it. Your money is insured. The money is insured. That's why I say for people who have. Right. So people who have millions of dollars now, I don't know what they can do, but me and my little couple dollars. So if yeah, the bank go in liquidation or something happen, they can give me my money because they have my money insured for 50000 So every customer, money is insured. So mm -hmm. they can give me my little money back. So if I have one little 20000 So would you have to go through a process? Um, would you yes, have, we've never would been you there yet. Through? I don't would think... you have say if less 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 say for say say if Scotia Bank was going to close mm -hmm. and they uh the public that the bank is going to, to close. Oh yeah, they, you go get your money. What they so they would actually put out to inform persons who, who do have money in the bank to take yes, it out. They, yes, they would they wouldn't even just if they close don't put it even and, I don't think the government would allow that to happen, especially after what happened with Clico. I could not see. And like I say there again, that's a, somebody wasn't doing their due diligence because how could Clico take all that money out of the country and the, um, the, secure, the insurance, the reg, insurance registrar or the insurance? How come you don't know Clico taking this money? How come Central Bank don't know Clico taking this money? It's just amazing how Clico could have taken all out of the country and nobody knew or nobody did anything about it that's why everybody was shocked when I know people from went into offshore banks because of the ruling that they on the day if they went up to inform persons about closure they could just close they so they could actually close no could they could get money. in trouble no you have to remember no but you have to remember any banks have a license mm -hmm. 
any banks have restriction, any company, you can't just actually just close and say, oh, I get all the people money. No, that's why you find that a lot of companies get sued and stuff like that because you can't just close just like that. But like I say, because of Gulf, Gulf Union Bank, which closed with a lot of person's money, that's how come they bring the deposit insurance into play because of that. Once person's heard, you know, it only take one person to say, um, girl, I had a bank closing. and everybody was lined up for their money. Everybody was lined up to that bank for their money. Some people got it. Some people didn't. Yeah. But deposit insurance came in to act because of Gulf Union Bank. Yeah. Because of Gulf Union. Okay. Now let's talk about the central bank. What do you think about the central bank? What is the central bank? Why do, what is their role in the country, the central bank? They regulate commercial banks. They regulate trust. They regulate trust companies too. Okay. And the Securities Commission regulates the investment mm -hmm. companies. But central bank is the land of last resort. Remember we talked about that last week too when I said like if a bank fall into need and needs money and they can't meet like their liquidity the central bank will lend them, but they have to pay a certain amount of money back, a certain amount with interest back. But like I said, I've never heard that happening here in the Bahamas. I've never heard of that. But the central bank is there to, they're there to for customers and the banks. They're, right, and they're there to protect both the customers and to protect mm -hmm. the bank. And like I said, we talk about monetary policies. And like I said, the central bank have, if you go on their site, there's so much information that you could learn that you probably didn't even know that the central bank do. So when you get a chance, just browse through their site. Yeah. I have, a, I have my downloaded for them with regards to the bills. Yeah. And you know, they have this new thing coming online now. What is the name? The uh, sand dollar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sand dollar. Yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't hear much about it. I don't know. I feel about this that, Corona but... pandemic. So, but I know it was out there for a while, and then after this Corona pandemic, it just I didn't hear much about it anymore. Yeah. yeah. Now, Bank of the Bahamas. Miss Smith, question Hi. on Central Bank. I have a question. About you this know, um, when accounts go dormant or mm -hmm. inactive seven over seven years. Right. Yes, it goes to central we bank. are to send it to central bank. What do they do with the funds? The funds is held in an account. Remember, too, you didn't hear that um, the, the, the deputy prime minister was talking about it, Peter Turncrest. He talked about them using that money within that dormant account for, for, for to do things. <laughs> right. See, uh, okay. I heard it. he was talking about it the other day on the talk show. <laughs> yes. So, so there's no way for you to recoup that money yes no no, no when you come to the bank like you, a lot of times when people die i guess and person mm -hmm. find their account they come oh my mother had this account or some people just forget that they had an account they realize digging through and then they say oh i had this account where's my money and we we have a listing for yeah. years of all the money that was for every year at the beginning of january we have to send money for all the dormant accounts that went dormant. We call them is cheated. They're is yes. cheated accounts. So those uh -huh. is cheated accounts are sent to central bank um, the beginning of the year. So listing pulled by IT and all the accounts and we send a check along with the listing of the customers showing each uh, amount that each customer represents for each customer. So yes, that happens. After seven years, your account is just cheated and it goes to central bank. And this has been happening for years. So central bank should have a, a hefty amount in that account. I call in central bank to borrow to see if they have any money for me. <laughs> no, you have to go to yeah. your bank where you have accounts and say, hey, where my account? They say, oh, it's going to central bank. Then you go there. <laughs> but you can't just go there. But you have to, you know, have your information because they'll have something to show you that was just cheated in a grant to central bank yeah mm -hmm. bank of the bahamas had a chance to look at the history of bank of the bahamas yes it seems as if yeah. in the beginning they were doing extremely well they were <laughs> and mm -hmm. they were from bank of montreal and bank of montreal was doing well so 
Buying at the Bahamas is just like, I, I, I simply look at it this way. A lot of times, a lot of times people feel, well, hey, in a bank, I just could come from one job to the next. You cannot come from a job where you were probably doing something total contrary to what you, you, you're coming to manage now. And so you cannot manage a bank as if you manage your business. And a lot, I think that's what happened at, at Bank in the Bahamas. And they didn't have a lot of regulations and a lot of audit and internal audit and compliance, nothing. Because apparently just looking at what happened, how persons were just giving loans and, and, and anything that is owned by government, what happens? Anytime Slack. government yes. intervenes, uh, what happens? Slack. Hey, hey, as a politician, I need a loan. Oh, I was looking in the newspaper today. Where's my paper? They were saying how much loans was given to... Hold on one. I Leslie Miller? <laughs> Hold on. Well, you know, um, the bowling alley was right down the road from my... It, it, it was in the paper or the punch I was looking at. Man, I think it was the punch. They were talking about, they were listing the, the loans that was given to an MP. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So he, yeah only, that's he, he won the case. Right. He surprised. won the case. 10 million. He won $10 million, but he owes $32 million to B.O.B. He owes $32 million. So after he got his $10 <laughs> he million, all he had to do is um, reconsolidate, restructure his loan, and then he straight. <laughs> he can restructure. He can restructure when they ready. They wanted, they were trying to sell, but they couldn't sell because um, they right he there. had them in Watch court. Watch them let him restructure that loan. No oh, man, they can't do that. How they gonna let him restructure okay. that loan? I see some shit. They gotta give them. He gotta give them. Got them. He gotta give them that thirty million. <laughs> that thirty two million. He need to pay that one five million on the bill and then let them restructure that. <laughs> no child, they can't restructure that loan. Mm -mm. They have new people at the hell of it at, 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 at Bob yeah. now, man. They ain't gonna let that happen. And they have persons. back in business. He will to rise again. What government change in the back in business? No way. Oh, how we could be so stupid. Thank to you. Let that That's happen. all I have to say. I've, no I've seen it. Ha I've seen we it happen. Like yeah. I said, and that's that's a point with, with with when government intervene or government have any hand into something because what happens? How is it that you can give some those type of loans? Bob, I could see why they just was in such a shamble because. They really, when you really look at what they've been doing, giving these loans to politicians, this one, my brother, my sister, hard work, like you went in a little petty shop. Mm -hmm. And that's what happened with B.O.B. B.O.B. Was, was a successful bank until they allow politics to be involved in everything. And that's what happened there. See the history. Look at the history mm -hmm. of B.O.B. And now NIB is in the same. See? You remember I told you in 1983? Go down. Mm -hmm. They talk about Bank of Montreal there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what I say. And BOB was a very successful bank. But like I say, anytime government intervention. Mm -hmm. And then too, I, I, I try to wonder with the regulators. Were they not regulating mm -hmm. BOB? How, how, how it became such a surprise what was going on? You know, mm -hmm. what they say, the new free national movement government has declared that it will not allow BOB to fail. So in 2016, remember now everybody said, oh, BOB can go bank or BOB can close. And a lot of people was just saying BOB was just going to close. It was so much rumors out there. Don't see one BOB job in the papers and you say you're going to go get that. They'd be like, girl, you're going there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. BOB shares never grew. Their shares just never grew. It was like one minute, $6 and something. It, it just never grew. BOB shares just didn't grow. Because, but I think now they're seeing some kind of little profit. They're seeing some little profit now, but and I think too, because remember now, all those um, bad loans, they send them somewhere else with, with the former governor, um, governor of the Central Bank, Francis, John. Not Francis um, John. Smith. Mm. Smith. 
Yeah, Resol. That's what they. That's the new company where which was taking over all their their bad loans. Resol. Mm -hmm. And so they sent everything there. They're still writing a lot of loans, though. They're doing a lot of small payoffs. Right. The OB is trying to get their act together. If you join the government, you cannot open an account anywhere but at BOB. Right. Or, and that's a good thing. They, that, that's a good strategy because you know every day they hire in government people. So you know what it is to say, okay, government employee has to open. When you start your job, your account has to be open at BOP. You cannot go to another bank. Even with the loan? Is that for mandatory salary assignment or it's just a requirement that you have an account there? You you have to open your sal your salary is posted to that account. Why? Yes, ma'am. And, and they can get loans for two years. A lot of the armed um, forces have for the first two years. They yep. can't get no deduction stamp. If either. I was to miss and <laughs> government and have to open my account there, my that would be for salary assignment only, and that would be getting taken out every salary pay to go elsewhere. Well, and that won't happen. You have to they understand not? they're putting putting stuff on it that you have no other choice but to go there. I believe. I know you have to open the account there. Now, I don't know what other stipulations, but I know any new employee in government, they have to open an account at BOB. And I think that's a good strategy. <laughs> that's a good strategy that's because guess like what? Wash. Yeah, it was a good strategy. Yep. Yeah. So, but like I say, in the financial sector now, it's just a rat race with, um, loan officers wanting to meet their quarter, their quota, and so, so hey, you need a loan? Come get a loan. Miss Everybody is just a busy, busy world. Huh? Yes? Miss Smith. Yes? Miss Smith. Okay. I I'm listen at the OB Banking. We're just saying that us. This is Parker. We're just saying that when you open up a, a savings account in BOB, they charge you, charge you. When you open up a savings or any account into BOB, they think that's what you're saying? No, I said when you get Hello? a government job, you have to you have to open your account at BOB. Hello? Can you hear me? When you open your I can hear you. I said, when you uh -huh. get a government job, you you required to open your yeah, well, savings I know account. That. I know most government jobs, yeah, they have to eat. Hello. Yeah. Hello. You're going in and out. You can hear me. I can hear you. Hello. Uh, that's. Oh, uh, I'm listening to what you're saying. I can't. You keep going in and out. I'm not hearing you clearly. Yes, ma'am. You can. When... Adrika, you can hear me. I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I was just saying that anytime you get a government job, you, I can hear you. Hello. Okay, but like I say with BOB, yes, BOB has gotten themselves in a lot of debt. But look at BOB, they on this X. So. Like I say, and you can go and look at their shares and see what it's worth now. Because like I say, I know the share was not, uh, was not climbing. It was, it was just standstill. Yeah. Any questions about BOB? Any comment? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm waiting for y'all to talk now. I stopped talking. <laughs> Wild Bank, Wild Bank of Canada. I didn't know Royal Bank was here that long. Yes, they were. You don't, you'll see when they say they celebrate a certain thing. Mm -hmm, 100 years. I didn't know they were here that long. 
Whoa. Miss Parker, what are you saying about a loan? I, I, I'm not sure I see you writing, but I'm not sure what you're asking about a loan. I don't know if it's your thing, because I can hear everybody clear, but I can't hear you. So, Edrika, you said you didn't know Royal Bank was around that long? No, ma'am. No. Yeah, they are. They've been here for many years. And as you would see, you go further down, you say, today as the country oldest bank, Sir George Legacy lives on with RBC now, employs 700 when you were talking about, the, I missed that point. When I was talking about BOP, I was just saying that as a government employee, any new government employee now is required to open a savings account with Bank of the Bahamas. You cannot go to a Royal Bank of Finco or a Fidelity or a Scotia. You have to, as a government employee well, now, even the summers, even the summer workers, what I was asking with regards to that for clarity, uh, maybe you may not know, mm -hmm. or you may. I want to know if the purpose of you having to open that is for salary assignment or you have to actually utilize their services. Oh, no, I, I just think that's where your salary go. I don't know. Like, I don't know if they have any right. stipulations. That's what I was asking. It was just salary. I would, I would, I would find out and I have that for you next class, but I'm not sure, but I know. Yeah, that's my question because... Yeah. Because you see now, too, they're like paying me, off a lot of work. loans. Because mm -hmm. like with me, with where I work, I send some of my funds to Commonwealth Bank. I send something to First Caribbean, and then I keep something where I work mm -hmm. at. So I can do an assignment where I send it various places. So that's why I'm asking if they're stipulating not just for salary assignment or they're forcing you to have to I, utilize their services. I don't know. But you know, with government, anything is possible. But I cannot answer that. But I'll try to find okay. out. Yeah. But, um, I'd love to know because, um, strange <laughs> enough, my sister just got made permanent last week. Oh, but baby, so she she's, can... going, she's going she... through the process now. I'll uh, ask her. She... I'll yeah. Out. Yeah. Find out from her. Yeah. But um, RBC I know she and. She's with um, First Caribbean, like me. Okay. And you'd see here in 1982, Financial Corporation acquired Finance Corporation of the Bahamas, which calls forming RBC Finco. The subsidiary continued to provide financing for Bahamian homeowners and transcenders in the local banking. RBC was the first to introduce com computerized banking to the country in the 1960s. Mm. Yep. And you know, RBC also had a, um, a trust company and then RBC had purchased like 50% of Royal Fidelity so that's why it was named Royal Fidelity Merchant Bank and Trust. Now, some of these mm -hmm. things you're going to see again whenever you get your little quiz or something. And that's why I say try to, you know, grasp some of it. I'm not going to put all there, but you're going to see some of it. Yeah. And we know um, Royal buying the last, um, growing with the company, talked about not, not, Nathaniel Benaby, who, who I guess was one of the first Bahamians who, uh, who rose to such a high rank when he left the bank. I think last year or year before last, he retired. What type of services, what type of, of products and um, Royal Bank offers? Um, commercial but, banking. Investment banking, Investment well, banking, all personal of that, yeah. banking. And now with Finco on board, they do it house insurance. They do life insurance. They have their own insurance company. And oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they did they, 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 they house. They, when you come in, even if they write for another place, it's like they're doing it. Like, you know, a, a lot of broker insurance brokers, they do like, I know where I have my insurance, it's gone to NAPCO or Bahamas first or stuff like that. So I think they, they become a broker or something. They have someone there who would write the insurance for you, whether life or house. I thought, I didn't, never even knew they did life. I, I just found that out. They do life and house insurance. Yeah. 
but they offer a, 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 a number. I said before, we had the actual day goods for mortgages and they get that kind of loan. That's in the old times, that's what it was. But now, mm -hmm. like I say, even insurance companies, they're no longer just a regular, given the regular service, they give mortgages. So all businesses now, financial, all businesses are now like insurance companies, they're all falling in line with offering financial services. Yeah. So that's why the competition out there is very rough. And like I said last week, the only thing that distinguish another bank from another bank is the service you offer because everybody's offering the same product. So I look at it, I'm going to go where I feel I'm being appreciated. What's the mm -hmm. sense to keep going to a bank? You go there, you stand on the line for 10 hours. They're so grouchy and miserable. People don't go. And that's why a lot of times you see a lot of companies, a lot of businesses lose business because of the service they offer. And, 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 and reputational risk is one thing that spread like hot fire. Because guess what? Mm -hmm. Reputational risk is something, it only takes one person to say, girl, you go in there. Girl, they, so, they service so bad. Girl, I, this happened in the next reputational risk. Then someone else go to their friend. Girl, what, what you going to get a loan from that? Girl, try to go to common back. Girl, I hear they so awful. So reputational risk is something that spreads. So the only way to contain reputational risk is making sure that you as a company try to make sure your employees are good customer service representatives. Because what's the sense of going? Many times you go to some places. I feel like, girl, somebody make you mad this morning. They know customer service, sweetie. And that's the number one priority should be in our country. But we don't have mm -hmm. that. Even in the hotels, you go, they're supposed, they're looking at you like, Jesus, girl, why are you going to work today? Customer service. Until we get it in our head that customer service is what makes a business, makes a country we will always be where we are. Even though tourists come and say, we friendly and all of the rest. Well, they must just be friendly to the tourists. Because sometimes you go to some places, restaurant, fish fry, whatever. They go, I'd be like, sweet girl, I need to come here. Uh-uh. Serve it. And we settle so much. Just like even like when we go to one bank, we want a loan. So we go to Commonwealth. And we say, mm -hmm. we settle with that. Or we have some money. We have like one fifty thousand. We go to Commonwealth, they say, oh, we can only pay you 2%. We sit there and say, okay, no, I have this 50. I could bargain with this. I go to Royal, which y'all could pay me. Oh, we can pay you um, 3%. Oh, I still want more. So I go to another bank because, especially with COVID time now, I have this money. You got to pay me 3% or 4 or 5%. This is what I want. You need my money. But we don't do that. You, you check the persons who have money. What do they do? They shop, shop around. around. We don't shop around. We don't shop around. We just settle. Oh, yeah, that's what you could give me. Hey, that sound good. No. Okay. We'll check back with you later. And you keep going. The people with the money, you only can give them $2 and they have the money. But us, we don't have it. And if we come into some, a 50 or 100,000, we still settle. With, oh, we don't want bargain. No. I want four. You want to give me three and a half? I want four. Okay, no, we can. Okay, bye. Go somewhere else. But we don't do that. We settle. And that's what we do. What about the Bahamas Development Bank? Tell me anything you know about the Bahamas Development Bank. What do they do? What do service, what products and service the Bahamas Development Bank offer? I know they provide loans for persons, entrepreneurs on a smaller scale who want to start a business and might not necessarily meet most of the criteria with the commercial banks and the commercial banks wouldn't be willing to take the risk on them. Um, I could speak even personally. I have a cousin in Andras who had a bone fishing lodge and it was financed for him through Bahamas Development mm -hmm. Bank. And when was Bahamas Development Bank established? 1974. 1974. 1978. 74. It was 
and then convert. And then it, it became and an op operational in 1978. Mm -hmm. And how many staff? Five. 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 And it was located on Rosam Square. Okay. Um, yep. And like you say, yes, thank you for Bahamas, um, Bahamas Development Bank. They do that. But also, um, Bahamas Development Bank, they now, I guess, seeing some kind of profit. They're trying to clean up their books. They have a new director now. Um, he's a smith. He's there now. So they're really trying to clean it up and try to get some profit because you have a lot of persons who, who got money for both, got money for businesses, things didn't work out. So they have a lot of bad loans at the development bank. They have a lot of bad, non-performing loans. So I guess they're trying to work with people and because I think they were given a, a certain amount of money too to uh, with new businesses and helping persons who have businesses now. Yeah. Anything else to add? So with like that? in their situation, would they have been bailed out by um, Central Bank? I don't think they were. No, they weren't. They, I, I don't know. Well, you know, that's Bahamas Development Bank. Just like Bahamas there. Ooh, 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 up there. Ooh, ooh, on there. The government. The government. Look at, yeah, look, 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 look at Get some money Bahamas from NIB. There. Look at Bahamas there. Why are they still here? Every year, every government, every election, everybody talks about it. And every year, we still do the same thing. We still fund Bahamas there. Mm -hmm. Until we learn how to just say, look, look at BPL. Until we learn how to less government intervention, the better it is. Until we learn that, we continue to look. They said yesterday, BPL had black out. Every day, it's like, what is wrong? How is it that we cannot get it right? My children will say, mommy, when we were small, it was always the light going off. What is it that we can't get it together? And we wonder why. The, student, the children won't come back home because of that. What are, we, what are we doing? You know, what are we doing? NIB, why are we still having to write off all these checks? Why are we still having to do these things? Why? Why do we still have to do it? Why do people have to stand on long lines? Why? Why? And then when you get there, you get a check for $14. <laughs> Say that man say, and, and see my chair, fourteen dollars and something cents. What can you do with that? Buy Wendy's. You can't even <laughs> buy Wendy's for the family <laughs> unless they have that two for something special. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. So what's going on? What's happening in our country? What's what's what's? I, I listened to a lady on the talk show today, and she was talking about the food packages or something, and she was saying people B was out by um. BFM uh, from three o'clock in the morning, and the people ain't come and tell you mm. eleven to two. And then when you almost reach, they say we don't have no more stamp, we don't have no more this coupons, so we can't help you. What kind of craziness is that? Then she's saying that some people in the West they deliver their That's package crazy. to them. So why is it that the government don't just give the persons who really making it work for people give them the because these other people surely look like they just take in the money for themselves. Because if some other, if the persons are west could get a package with meat and dry food, how is it that the persons in a, in a city can only get dry food? How? Hmm. They say enhance for hunger, give the meat and the, the dry food. Another lady said she's in, in, in Garden Hills and she gets $70 voucher. People in the inner city in Bantown say they get 35. Wow. wow. Something is wrong. You I know, know they were saying the that process. they were giving you based on how many persons were in your household. Jesus, right? Lord. Jesus, I sure them people in the ghetto have more people. More. <laughs> Please. Uh -uh. Have more people, right? And that's why they say they don't understand it. Why isn't it not across the board? Why is it that if you give it to this church or that church, this is what they do? So where the rest of the money going? If other people could give me dry food and meat. Hmm. And like I said, hmm. until we get it right, 
and, 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 and do things the right way and let things be across the board, just like with anything. Oh, girl, oh, you need that? Girl, just g- give me one twenty dollars and girl, let's, you could, I'll get that done for you. No, until we get to the point, and I think more so now than ever with COVID, oh my God, it's a lot of people, a lot of people today. And I, I, I can only say, thank God, when you have something to do or you, even if you're not working, you, you, you save so you're able to weather this storm because I don't know. Sandals said they're not going to open until January 28th. What is that? I saw this is just, today. This said, is just September. What's the place in St. South Club, man? Said they're not. 2021? 2022. 2022. Oh. So they're staying close. Oh well, no, God. they said until next November 2021. So they're going to be closed for a little over a year and open in time for next year, Thanksgiving. What are we going to do? Um, you know, that's like the I lifeline say. of that whole island. So that's why I say it's, it's always, and a lot of times we say, Yes, granted, people say save, but sometimes you don't make much to be able to save because you have so much other things to do. But persons who had good savings, they can weather the storm. If you didn't have a good savings, it's going to, it's really, really rough. Mm -hmm. It's rough when you see people have to tow a line from three o'clock in the morning to get packages. That is kind of really, really rough. And some people say you'd be amazed at the persons you'd never think they'd be on that line to get. And that's why I always just say, in life, always treat people fairly because you never know mm-hmm. when the shoes will be on the other feet. So always mm-hmm. treat people fairly. Mm-hmm. Always do your best. When you can to help someone else, you do it. And on mm-hmm. jobs where people feel that, oh, my mommy owned this company. My daddy owned this. No, sweetie. This mm-hmm. company, none of them don't own this. Even they treat me like that. Remember, we both work for a company. Mm-hmm. And our parents own it, not to us. So a lot of times, I think COVID is going to teach all of us that lesson. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Definitely humbled us. Yes, it has. It has humbled us. Okay, look at Commonwealth Bank. What do you have to say about Commonwealth Bank? Okay, I'll let you all talk bank. now. because the um, bank with the government people loan. <laughs> that's the Google yeah. People Loan Bank. Who owns Commonwealth Bank? And that's the Croupier's Loan Bank. Once a minute. Once a minute. It's a minute. That's bad. Based on. He's the primary shareholder of Commonwealth Bank. <laughs> well, um, like I say, Commonwealth Bank. It's been around and it's been the Bahamian Bank. I didn't understand what you were saying. Yes, I think that's Miss Parkinson. Miss Parker. Mm-hmm. What are you saying? I didn't. She's sorry. I was actually with a subgroup for this class. If what happened? All right, you guys. I didn't. I was asking, hear you. is there a WhatsApp group for this class? I mean, y'all could create one. I, I know most of my classes, that's what they do. I can always give you my cell number. Oh, okay. That's no problem. Okay. We can. It's like I say, um, most of the class, that's no what problem. they do. Well, I know that's what they do. The class do it. I, I, I've never been in war because they do it. So if somebody didn't come, they go to the other person. So y'all could discuss that between y'all. And y'all can choose to do that. So if somebody doesn't come to class, well, you know, you could find out. Okay, I'm just wondering. Because I'm still on the road, but my phone is going to recognize. Okay, so all right. Well, like I say, we're just, just going over time. this. And like, I, I'm going to send you the assignment. As soon as the class is over, I'll send you the assignment. But like, all you need to do okay. is try to read chapter two. Chapter two is, I really going to need y'all to talk to me on chapter two, because it's talking about the type of banks. It's talking, talking about mergers, talking about investment companies, 
non-depository intermediacy, um, credit union, mutual fund buying. So it's talking, and it's talking about currency exchange, which is foreign exchange broker terms, which we know, Wild Fidelity, um, CFAL, all of those are brokerage. They, they buy and sell. So it's not really much for chapter two. But then, okay. like I say, I'll send you the assignment, which is due on Friday. Okay, um, another thing, you guys were on chapter one last week, right? Or you yeah. You yeah, we finished. Well, last week, we really just introduced ourselves, and we just really talked about the course okay. outline, which I will have for you, try to send it to you this, this week, because I was trying to get a, the, the actual date when school Miss Dean. Okay. Yeah. That's perfect. So I'll, uh, on the course outline, I'll tell you when the midterm okay. is, when the chapters, the midterm will be on. Okay, okay? thank you so much. Okay, bye bye. Okay, so who, nobody wants to speak about Commonwealth Bank? Hello, oh. Ms. Brent Simonet, the primary holder. Well, Brent Simonet, Bobby Simonet, all of those. If you read further down, you'll see in 1984, the new Commonwealth Industrial Bank, and all, and it's all Bahamian owned with, you see how much money? In that time, 15 million in assets every time. And let me tell you, Commonwealth is have their stuff out there. You could see, and they always brag about how much money they made this quarter and how they exceeded what they, their actual came in more than what they forecast. So they, I remember when Commonwealth had the, this little bank on Dunmore Lane right off, off um, Bay Street. It was just a little, little bank in the back of Corner Motel. Not Corner Motel. I was just about to say Corner um, Motel. What the, what the guy named who had that big Corona Hotel. Corona was, Hotel A. Right. It was, if you look through that corner, you'll see a little building. That used to be Dunmore Lane. That used to be Commonwealth Bank. That used to be Commonwealth Bank. And then they expand and they renovate and move further down. But Commonwealth Bank was a little bank. And I remember them because I used to bank with them when I first started to work for government. And trust me, if you owe Commonwealth Bank and you're and they come in for your mattress, your chair with the spring sticking out. They start to sit in the middle of the floor on the bank. They used to be like, what is this? They used to take your stuff. And they have it in the middle of the floor on the bank. Ah, uh, Miss Smith, you're going to make me go close my account. No, no, no. That was long time ago, I man. Tell them, give me all my money. No, man. You're <laughs> your damn. That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I am not, well, I don't have no loan. Well, that's what I say, and Commonwealth Bank is it, Commonwealth Bank has done well, and they assist us. Like I say, it's, it's us as Bahamians who go and put ourselves in the debts, even though we try to say, oh, that Commonwealth Bank, oh, that Fidelity. Uh-uh. You choose to come to Commonwealth. You yeah. choose to go to Fidelity and let Fidelity say, oh, good, you need <laughs> this loan. And you'll be like, yeah, I think I, no, I don't need that loan. Sorry. They calling you, girl, you, you, girl, you, you could qualify for some more money. You want that? You could have a, a add-on. No, I don't need no add-on. I good. Mm -hmm. Why people love them add-on? But that's what I say. And so the bottom line about you, you wait till the... Christmas time amid COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Let some of these people miss and go to work in November. Yeah. All of us will be rich. And Not only that, and, um, the bottom line about it is they will. If they go to work in November just before Thanksgiving, their first paycheck will be on the plane. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> you know, we as the people have to get it together when it comes to our savings, but we don't. We don't. Yep, mm. we do not. So, yeah, but like I said, that's the gist of chapter, chapter one. So, hopefully, when you come, Next week, Tuesday, next week, Monday, we can just go over chapter two. So I really, I'm going to pick on people next week. So make sure <laughs> you're up to date because I'm not going to, like how I do now, I'm going to call your name and ask you to tell me. Like you see the types of banks, they're all laid out, central bank mergers. Then they talk about depository non-depository so you'd know what is the difference if i ever have a question and say oh the credit union is non-depository you should be able to say 
Uh -uh. It is depository. So mm -hmm. you'll see the difference between those. We talk about pension. Then we talk about credit creation. We talk about exchange. <laughs> yes, Ms. Pa. Go. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, so like I said, we just have to stay on track because I, 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 I want us to be on track. So, and I'll have you, most hopefully I'll send the project to you because the project is really going to be talking about the impact of COVID on different industry. I will list them that I need you to talk about. Okay. So, and that's not a group project. Everybody has to do it on their own. I don't believe in group projects because sometimes one person has to put in all the work. So. I believe everybody check on their own. So we um will you'll have it to do on your own and I'll give you the date when it's due. Right. Okay. Any more questions, any concerns, any um, Ms. Smith, um, um mm -hmm. I didn't get the course. Let me see, you're talking about the date for the midterm and what no, the I didn't send be. it out yet. I'm going to oh. send it to y'all this week. I'm going to send assignment on uh, um, the um, project and the course outline to tell okay. you when the midterm, when the project is due, and showing you the advantage which you get for quiz or assignment, homework, which is the project and um, term, midterm, and the final exam. Okay. So, Mark that to one Friday. Any particular amount of pages? Or... Don't give me no pages. Like it's just it's quality, <laughs> not quantity. Okay. I just need to see where your head is at. Is the homework to be completed in essay form? No, it does not complete it in essay form. It's just you saying because I'm asking you to talk about the history of either the Bodhi Bank penny or savings. the um people penny savings bank, as we know. They say in Spain, got three locations. So you talk about stuff like that. So I know that you actually read. Really know. I don't need you to run on. Like I told them before, I had a business, a banking class, and they had an exam. And that's one of the reasons why I don't give essays because the young lady said in the essay, she's saying how she went to the mall shopping. I'm like, what is this? And so this is why I don't give essays. I'm like, just to make it look long. No, I like quality. Okay. <laughs> um, you can find, I mean, the internet is good with the information. The libraries are closed. So you know where you're going to find any information about, about the Bodhi Bank and the people spending. I went online. I can tell you the information is there. Just talk about the people spending savings buying. And, and it's talking about um, um, Randall's folk and how, you know, he talked about it. So, like I'm saying, the Bodhi Bank, Auckland Bodhi, that's Auckland Bodhi's father. So, he, um, he, he owned a Bodhi Bank, which is on Wolf Road, which is on Wolf Road. The building's still there. I don't think they knock it down. It's still there. The structure's there. Remember, when I used to go to... COB, I had a project to do um, for banking and I wrote on the Bodhi Bank. So I interviewed with Mr. Bodhi, believe it or not. I interviewed, I went to his house upstairs. He lived upstairs. I used to be downstairs, but it was already closed then. But I interviewed with him and I got an A on that project. Yeah. So, yeah. So you, you, you'll find the information because I did. You'll find the information. It's there on the internet. Yeah. It's just, I don't want to see you mm -hmm. verbatim. Are you, I want to see it in your own words. Mm -hmm. You know, so you can't put dates and stuff in your own words, but you know, try your best to paraphrase it as much as you can. Yes. Okay. Any questions, any concerns? Hello. Just remember, come to class next week um, with all your head and I'm going to have everybody name next to what I want. Uh, is we're reading chapter two for next week? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And the uh, following week, chapter three, I'm going to try to have the slide for you for money to show you 
let you listen to it. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that next for chapter three, which is probably going to take us two, two weeks, two Mondays, because it's longer. Okay. 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 All righty. Take I care. Good night. All right. Good night. Good night. Okay.